Hello, so today we are going to talk about something called pronouns and you should have learned about it in your classes but we'll do a review. So before we talk about pronouns I want everybody to take a few seconds to close their eyes and think about who your favorite superhero is. Think about your favorite superhero. Okay, so my favorite superhero is Spider-Man. Yours might be Batman, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor. No matter who your favorite superhero is, usually whenever your superhero goes out and saves the day, they have a disguise on. So everybody do this from your computer. Put your disguise on. So whether their disguise is a mask, a costume, or both, they look a little bit different than they do on a normal day. So one way that you can remember what a pronoun is, say pronoun, is that a pronoun is a noun in disguise. So put your disguises on. Okay, so um, we're going to look at this poster and then we'll go over some things with pronouns. So it says here, pronouns, a noun in disguise. Do your disguises. Okay. So, let me move this a little bit over. Okay, so, some pronouns you might see is she, he, him, they, me, her, we, I, my, you, or it. So, those are just a list of some pronouns you might see all the time. So, if I, remember, so a pronoun is a noun in disguise. So, that means you can switch it out for your noun and it'll still make sense. It'll still mean the same thing. So, Miss Bro. If you're talking about Miss Bro, you might say she. So, Miss Bro taught us math today. Switch it for your pronoun. She taught us math today. We can go to Dad. Dad, you might say he. Dad, he. It's a noun in disguise. Children, they. So, you might say the children had fun at recess today. And then you can switch it out for your pronoun. They had fun at recess today. It means the same thing. Cat, it. The cat liked the milk. It liked the milk. Teachers, we. Mom, her. Boy, him. Grandma, she. My grandma baked us cookies today. She baked us cookies today. And if we want to go back up here where it says Miss Bro, if you're talking, then you would say she, but if Miss Bro is talking, then I would say I. And I is also a pronoun. So, which is a noun in disguise. Show me your disguises. Okay, so I am going to say a couple of words and then you are going to think to yourself about what the pronoun would be. So, if I say sister, sister, think about it. You can pause for a second if you need to. Okay, so some pronouns that you might be able to say for sister might be she or her. So, she or her. That is for my sister. That is for her. My sister played outside today. She played outside today. Those mean the same thing. So what if I say lamp? Lamp. Think about a pronoun that would take the place or disguise lamp. Pause it if you need to. Okay, so a pronoun that would disguise lamp would be it. The lamp is shining bright. It is shining bright. Good. Okay, so the next noun that I'm going to say is Miss Rich. Okay, so once again, she or her. So Miss Rich is our principal. She is our principal. So that's good. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to say three sentences, and then if you need to pause it after I say the sentence to think about what the pronoun is in the sentence, that's fine. So the first sentence I'm going to say is, she ran fast. 
Pause it if you need to and think about where the pronoun is. She ran fast. Okay, so the pronoun in the sentence she ran fast is she. So my next sentence is they were nice. So they were nice. Pause it. Okay, so the pronoun in they were nice is they. They were nice. So my last sentence that I am going to say is, I think that is for him. I think that is for him. So pause it. Think about where you hear a pronoun. I think that is for him. Okay, so in the sentence, I think that is for him, we actually have two pronouns. Okay, so I and him. I think that is for him. I think that is for him. Miss Bro thinks that is for her dad. I think that is for him or she thinks that is for him. So those are your pronouns in those sentences. So after this video ends, you can still practice pronouns. So if you want to take a second after it ends and write five sentences with pronouns and have your mom or dad or older brother or sister, whoever's next to you help you check it, that would be great and that would be fine. So five sentences that have pronouns in it and just to review at the end, a pronoun is a noun in, show me your disguises. So a noun in disguise, a pronoun is a noun in disguise. Okay, so thank you for watching and we will see each other again soon.